If you're looking for a heavy-duty corn picker with capacity to match, a picker that raises the speed limit in high-yield corn and puts clean corn in the wagon, a picker that saves downed corn and puts it in the wagon where it belongs, and a corn picker with built-in conveniences that make your harvest easier and safer. Then settle back and let me tell you about the John Deere 237. It's new from front to rear, designed to put more cleaner corn in the wagon for the farmer who harvests ear corn and harvest more cleaner corn for the farmer who field shells with the 50 sheller attachment. Let's take a closer look. The 237 has a modern streamlined appearance. Its narrow width and inline husking boxes make it compact and easy to maneuver. Long slender gatherers with floating points skim in low and pick up down stalks. Smooth shielding and wide throat opening provide easy stock entry. High inner gatherer extensions, which are regular equipment, save tall and brittle corn. The high knee design of the outer gatherers also reduces ear loss and makes special extensions unnecessary. Tractor wheel shields prevent running over corn in adjacent rows. They also provide built-in steps for mounting. Three roller type gathering chains enter the row 13 inches ahead of the snapping roll points. They can operate at ground level to bring in tangled or down stalks. Chains are protected by slip clutches, which can be easily adjusted for any condition. Formed, rounded lugs are easy on low-hanging ears, keep shelling at a minimum, yet are aggressive for maximum gathering. Spiral-fluted snapping rolls operate at high speed. Compared with conventional lug-type rolls, these rolls reduce shelling by as much as 50%. The point of the outer roll is spiraled to guide stalks effectively into the rolls. Point of the inner roll is smooth for minimum stalk agitation and to prevent pinching of low hanging ears. Lengthwise ribs pull stalks through and remove part of the husks. Spiral ribs pop the ears off and shield ears from butt shelling by the lengthwise ribs. Stripper bars prevent wrapping of weeds around the rolls in normal conditions. Optional trash knives are available for extremely weedy conditions. Installing is quick and easy. High lugs and cams at the upper end of the snapping rolls pull reluctant stalks through. Looking down, you can see that the outer snapping roll is mounted lower than the inner snapping roll. Ears roll into the first elevator fast for greater capacity and less shelling. Snapping rolls are easily adjusted from the tractor seat. Use any of nine settings. Open for dry stocks or closed when stocks are damp. Plugging is held at a minimum. A steep drop off from snapping rolls to first elevator prevents ear pile up. The first elevator is wide and roomy to accommodate high yields at fast picking speeds. This paddle type trash mover revolves to keep loose trash on the move. Spiraled cast iron husking rolls with rubber buttons work against aggressive serrated rubber rolls to husk corn clean and fast with a minimum of shelling. Outer rolls are three fourths of an inch higher, forming a trough through which the continuous conveyor moves the corn. Buttons are replaceable for long, economical husking roll life. Center fins line up ears for more efficient husking. Keep ears moving smoothly. Trash retarders over the husking rolls prevent ears from rolling back into the first elevator and keep loose trash moving down through the rolls. A second set of retarders may be installed near the top of the husking bed. This set of retarders is optional. A single continuous roller chain with high steel flights carries ears from the snapping rolls through the husking box to the wagon elevator hopper. 
Stocks and trash are discharged from the picker by this husk auger. It's located away from the tractor tire to avoid plugging. Loose kernels in the trash fall through a perforated housing to a shelled corn auger. Corn is augered into the wagon elevator hopper. You save every possible kernel. Will the operator please turn the record? Stocks that ride over the husking rolls are routed through this stock ejector and dropped on the ground behind the picker. There's no spill out from this wide deep hopper when you're working on slopes or contours. Corn goes in the wagon, not on the ground. The air blast from this cleaning fan really makes those green and yellow ribbons flutter. In the field, this powerful fan blows loose trash out away from the wagon elevator hopper. Only clean corn goes into the wagon. The wagon elevator on the 237 is long and fully covered to prevent losing ears. Elevator shuts off automatically when units are raised at row ends. A deflector hood gives you bomb sight accuracy in loading wagons of any size. It can be operated on the go with a lever. Wagon elevator is wide and roomy. A continuous roller chain with high flights keeps corn moving fast. Tripping this easy to reach lever engages the elevator. Elevator disengages automatically when row units are raised. Equipment conveniences play an important part in helping make your picking job easier. The 237 is no laggard in this respect. Recessed steps in the tractor wheel shields and sturdy handrails help you into the tractor seat from either side safely and easily. You don't spend time finding, cleaning, and greasing fittings with handy multi-luber. You grease as you pick by pushing these plungers. Snapping rolls are adjusted from the tractor seat. A lever for each row unit offers individual adjustment to meet conditions. High lift raises gatherers 27 to 30 inches to clear front wheels for tight turns and crossing gullies. Helps make servicing easier, too. Attaching the 237 to your tractor is a fast one-man job. Mounting is simplified because the drives are part of the universal mounting, not the picker. Just lock the picker on with these toggle clamps. Extend the telescoping power tubes and pin them together. Universal mounting fits more than 40 different tractor models of six makes. Two short roller chains transmit power from the tractor to the picker. A unique automotive type transmission eliminates chain drives inside the row units. Brackets are available for mounting lights on the picker handrails for night picking or transport. You can purchase new lights or use those from your tractor. One of the most convenient and practical attachments for the 237 corn picker is the 50 sheller. It's your answer to low-cost field shelling. The 50 sheller attachment gives a 237 greater versatility. It keeps your equipment investment at a minimum because you can do two jobs with one combination outfit. Switching from ear corn to shelled corn harvesting is fast. The 50 sheller simply replaces the wagon elevator. In a matter of minutes, you're back in the field. Shelling and separating are done in one 56-inch long, fully perforated cage. Ears travel the full length of the cage from left to right. A full-length fan blows out trash. Let's listen to what Larry Manful of Montour, Iowa says about his 237. I picked 250 acres of corn that averaged about 100 bushels. I operated my 4010 tractor in fourth and fifth gear. In an average day, I can pick 30 acres. And here's what Jim Vert of Mechanicsburg, Ohio had to say. I picked 250 acres and ran at four to five miles per hour in corn averaging 125 bushels. Shelling loss is remarkably low. I figure this reduction in shelling loss will make a good payment 
on my 237 picker. Ask your dealer now for more details on the John Deere 237 corn picker. You'll find it's the picker offering more capacity, cleaner husking, dependability, conveniences, and versatility for your equipment dollar. Finance your new 237 with the John Deere credit plan.